I would strongly recommend to this program, partly because first, I think the network and to be able to work with great companies like NREL, like EPRI, or even work with great system operators, there's a lot of opportunity to learn in there. Women in PST and programs like it that really focus on ways to empower women in the power sector are really critical to achieving a wide range of development outcomes. We could not be more thrilled about the reach and impact we've seen through the Women in Power System Transformation Initiative. Because of the internship program, I started asking more questions, be it technical or non-technical, I was building my technical skills at the point time. I was also like uh, meeting different women professionals and uh, understanding about their experiences, getting motivated for my future career. We want women to be fully empowered, not just being able to access these opportunities, but to be able to thrive once they get into these roles. The sea change training allows us to understand more about ourselves and understand our limiting beliefs and, and help our ourselves find our own voice. It was very inspiring to hear so many women STEM power system engineers it, it, to listen to their inspiring stories and how they overcome some challenges in their field. I feel more prepared to be a leader in the energy sector after this fellowship experience because only by being the first woman intern in Kaisel from PLN already made me realize that I can do what I thought is impossible before. As part of the Women in PST program, three GPST system operator partners, Columbia XM, Indonesia PLN, and Grid India, participated in the Engendering Industries Workforce Gender Equality Accelerated Program, completing a week of training in Vienna, Austria to identify gender gaps within their organizations, develop a business case that demonstrates the benefits that gender equality could bring, and begin developing a plan to increase gender equality at their organizations. We know that one intervention on its own is not going to solve the problem. So looking at the ways that companies and utilities and, and power sector entities are recruiting and hiring and onboarding their staff, the way that they are promoting staff, creating succession plans, are all really critical pieces of the puzzle. But at the same time, we have to ensure that there are women and girls in the pipeline who are qualified and ready to take on these positions. Women in PST is also expanding access to high quality technical teaching materials to support university students and power system practitioners. All of these course modules were designed and taught by leading women experts in the field. The technical course materials are accompanied by ready links and resources to introductory information on gender equality, such that university faculty and course instructors might leverage these learnings in the classroom to support women in PST's vision of training a gender inclusive power sector workforce of the future. It, you know, broadened my horizon. It actually helped me reflect and know that I could actually be more than what I've been. I felt it was an amazing experience and my summer was pretty fruitful in terms of networking, in terms of learning and uh, in terms of um, interacting with researchers and understanding what problems I could focus on in my future career. This is a stepping stone to the future advancements that the energy sector will see. So I think this is a very good start to getting to where I need to go.